welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Jacqueline and I make new videos every week a whole variety of things lifestyle beauty adventure all sorts of fun stuff and I upload every Monday Wednesday and Saturday and today is one of my favorite things to film I say this every time I go to film it but I have empties for you guys again I try to do these every like three months ish so that's when I find I have like a good pile of things I've used up um and I'm ready to recycle them and get rid of my trash basically so yeah you guys know what this is i'll give you a little mini reviews on everything um and yeah let's just hop right in i think i'm gonna start with the few makeup things i have and then i'll go into skincare and body care and hair care and then the random other stuff i've collected so let's start with makeup uh the first thing i've used up is my all-nighter i love urban decay all-nighter it's one of my favorite setting sprays it just really locks everything in and you know, just help your makeup stay longer. Um, they did just come out with a new glowing version of the all-nighter, which I'm super interested in because I love the original one. And I don't think the original one makes me super matte. I have it on right now. That's what I use today. But I'm very interested in the glowing one to see, you know, what extra glow it gives um, and if it works just as well as this one. But I love the all-nighter. I will always go back to it. It's so good. And this big bottle actually lasts you a surprisingly long amount of time, especially with how much I use setting spray it lasts a good amount of time and i just really like it it's a classic for a reason i have a couple primer sample sizes the first one is this mac prep and prime it's a natural natural radiance base um i don't think it's gonna focus on that because it's so small um so i got this as a little sample and it's one of the few sample size things that i actually use up as like a little primer bottle like this um and i like this one i thought it was good it had a really nice radiance to it i would definitely consider getting the full size of this it's not a smoothing primer it's not a pore filling it's really just like a radiance primer so if you like like the becca backlight primer or the first light primer something like that it's a very similar product to that it's a little bit more like silicone based than the becca one so it feels feels a little bit more like slippery on the skin but I really liked it and I thought it was a great primer and obviously I used up all this little sample size so I would definitely consider getting a full size. Um, Something I have a travel size of and I've used the little sample size as well is this Tarte. I don't think it's called the Clean Slate anymore. I think it's just their Timeless Smoothing Base. Um, So I have a little sample size of this. I do have the travel size of this and I got the travel size because it took me so long to get through this size that I knew I wouldn't get through a full size of the primer and because it's a putty and it kind of you know, it's in this packaging it dries out fairly easily so I knew I wouldn't get through all of a full size so that's the reason I got the travel size but yeah I really liked it I obviously still love it because I have the travel size it's really good at smoothing out your pores and just giving you a nice base for your makeup I find that when I use this my makeup seems to stay smoother all day long I have very dry skin mm -hmm. and if I don't use the right primers I notice that um my makeup tends to kind of not break up but look kind of like crusty i know that sounds gross but it like clings to my dry patches and this primer is nice because it smooths out the pores where i need it and my texture where i need it but it doesn't dry my skin out and give that kind of like dry caked look so i really enjoy this one um something that's super old and just i never used anymore so it's time to get rid of it was this clinique uh brow shaper it's a powder so it comes in this little like box and you slide it open and it's just a powder with a couple little angle brushes in here. And I loved this for a while. This is kind of before everyone was, you know, really into brow products and like getting that full brow look. This is what I used in like college when I was on the dance team to kind of fill in my brows and just, just find them more. And like I said, it was kind of before all like the Benefit Cabrow and all that kind of stuff came out. And I really enjoyed this. It's a kind of a firmer powder so you don't get as much pigment from it, which is what you want for your brows. And it was just an easy way to fill in my brows. I have fairly full brows that it is, and I don't have a lot to fill in. So this was great for me to just kind of like quickly throw on. Um, I just never reached for it anymore, and it's just getting really old. Um, I don't even know if Clinique makes this anymore. But it was a good one if you enjoy an eyebrow powder. I would definitely recommend it if they still make it. It's just not what I reach for anymore, so time to get rid of it. The last thing is a definite favorite. I use this all the time. And it's one of the very few like actual, like the primers and like that kind of stuff. I don't have that much of it. So, you know, uh, it's easier to use up, especially the little sample sizes. This is like truly a makeup product that I go through quickly. It's my favorite concealer. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. 
and I just love this concealer. I think it's so good. It always looks good on my skin. I'm constantly reaching for it. It looks good when I have a full face of makeup and I'm like in glam, whatever you want to call it. That sounds so, I hate when people say that, but I don't know why I just said it. Anyway, <laughs> um, or if I'm just doing like a natural day, it just always looks good. I can use it all over my face, under my eyes. It's just a really, really good concealer and I just, I just love it. Um, I get the shade Fair and it works perfect on my skin tone. And I just really like it. I like the packaging too. I know some people don't like the sponge tip applicator. I'm pretty sure you can pop that off and just like scoop off the top when you click it up of the concealer. But I don't mind the sponge. I think it's a really easy way to get the concealer on. And I love that it has this little like plunger thing. So you really are getting like all the product out of here. And I just really, really enjoy this concealer. All right, let's move on to skincare, uh, which I have a lot of this time. So I'm gonna pull out all the sheet masks. I'll do the sheet masks last, because actually I have quite a few of them. I've been trying to use them up, so I don't wanna um, have to travel cross country with them. But yeah, so let's start with cleansers. I have two bottles of my Neutrogena uh, Ultra Gentle Hydrating Cleanser. I love this cleanser. This is probably right up there with me for the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser. Um, we get our face wash from the exchange or the commissary here on base. And for some reason, they haven't had the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser in a while. Um, but I think the Neutrogena one is a really good alternative. It doesn't have the ceramides like the uh, CeraVe one, CeraVe one has, but it's still a great one. It's fragrance-free, soap-free, dye-free, paraben-free, hypoallergenic, and non-comedogenic. And it feels very similar. It's a nice creamy formula. It doesn't lather up or anything. Um, and it just leaves your skin feeling clean but not stripped, which is exactly what my super dry skin needs. Um, my husband really likes it too. And it's just a great uh, cleanser. It even says on the back, dermatologists develop to cleanse even the most dry and sensitive skin, including skin with acne, uh, eczema, and rosacea. And I just think it's a really nice cleanser. It's just as affordable as a CeraVe. And I... I just really like it. Speaking of CeraVe, I went through my big tub of CeraVe moisturizing cream. This is my favorite face cream. You can use it on your body too, um, but I find it that it's not, it doesn't like clog my pores or make me feel greasy on my face either, which I love. So it's just a really great moisturizer if you have super dry skin. I think if you had normal or oily skin, this is gonna be like way too much. You might wanna try their lotion instead. But if you have really dry skin like I do, this is great. It just feels so good on my skin. And this huge tub lasts you so long. Obviously this CeraVe is a great brand. It's This one has hyaluronic acid in it. It's not comedogenic, it's fragrance free. And all of their products have those ceramides in them, which if you have a damaged skin barrier, which I was dealing with for a while there, this is just great to help repair that and I just love it. I have another big bottle, big uh, tub on my sink right now. And yeah, it's just my favorite moisturizer. I have a couple sunscreens. Let's do those next. I have a lot of duplicates actually in here, which is funny. So I have two bottles of my Aveeno Protect and Hydrate Sunscreen for Face SPF 50. Um, I love this sunscreen. It's great. Once again, if you have dry skin, this is a great one. If you have oily skin, stay far away. It's a very hydrating but almost in like an oily way that sounds really bad but it's super super hydrating and i think people with oily skin would hate this but i loved it because i have very dry skin um i have moved back to my mineral sunscreen this one's a mix of mineral and i believe it's a mineral and no this is all chemical so this is a fully chemical sunscreen so if that's something you're concerned with too chemical versus um a mineral sunscreen this one is um, a chemical one, so, um, but it's oil-free, not comedogenic, sweat and water resistance, um, and it's just a really nice one. I love Aveeno sunscreens. They feel great on the skin, and I love that they don't clog my pores. They feel like an extra step of skincare and not just like a sunscreen, but like I said, I did switch back to my mineral one, but this one definitely is one of my favorites for dry skin. All right, let's see. I think I have it by two. There's a two of them. Yeah, I have two bottles of my different gel. I have one of the little baby guys and one of the big ones. Um, this is my favorite acne product. Um, I've recommended this so many times. If you have acne, this is a great retinol sort of product to try and you can get it in the supermarket at the drugstore. And I just really, really enjoy it. Obviously, I've gone through a bunch of bottles. I'm not currently using different. I, like I said earlier, I went through a period there where I 
pretty sure I damaged my skin barrier and I was just doing way too much to my skin. So I dialed everything back and I'm going for really gentle products right now and different just isn't one of those. You definitely want to be careful with it and build up to it. So right now I'm just, I'm not using it. Um, I think one day eventually I will go back to it. But for me right now, it's just not what my skin needs. I'm just already dry and irritated as it is and I don't need something to make it worse. That's the reason I'm not using it right now, but I do love different and they're always in my empties for a reason. So yeah, I definitely recommend them. Definitely go slow and build up to it, but different is great for acne. I have a couple cleansing oils. So the first one I have is this little travel size of the Dermalogica pre-cleanse. Um, and I liked this a lot. It smells really good. I talked about this in my monthly favorites recently. It smells like, if you know what I'm talking about, you know, if not, this is going to be a weird reference. But back in the day, Altoids used to make sour, like fruit candies, and they used to make a lemon one. And this is what that smells like, the Altoids lemon sour candy. It smells, it smells really good. And um, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a great one. It took my makeup off easily, my waterproof mascara all that stuff. It felt great on the skin. It did what it was supposed to do. But my problem is a full size of this is so expensive. It's $45 for a big bottle of cleansing oil. And there are definitely other cleansing oils out there that are cheaper per ounce and work just as well. So I'm still working on through a few other cleansing oils before I kind of give my final thoughts on the ones that I think are the best. But um, I think if you want that high-end luxurious kind of spa feeling as you're cleansing your skin this is a great one i just don't know if it's worth the money so yeah it was good i just yeah that's all i have to say the next one was disappointing for me it's from one of my favorite brands this is the mad hippie cleansing oil and the reason this was disappointing to me was because it didn't emulsify and like get off my skin i just felt like i was putting a layer of oil on my skin yeah it took my makeup off but I had to use a cloth to kind of wipe off the makeup um and obviously I go in with a second cleanse anyway but then I felt like my second cleanse was just taking off the oil and not breaking down the make like this wasn't I don't know how to explain it because it's not it doesn't emulsify and I don't see the makeup like coming off in my sink it just felt like it wasn't working. It definitely took my makeup off. And after my second cleanse, my face definitely was clean and I didn't have makeup on it anymore and it felt cleansed. It just wasn't the experience I was expecting from a cleansing oil. I think actually it's probably great for my skin, to be honest, because it kind of leaves that layer of oil on my face. It does, it helps to kind of hydrate my super dry skin, but still just wasn't my favorite experience. It was pretty expensive. It's a very small bottle. It did last me a while, but it was pretty expensive for the size you get. Yeah, it just, it's one of those things that if you tried it and you know how it works, kind of understand, but it just, it doesn't emulsify. It just wasn't right for me and the experience I was looking for from a cleansing oil. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's all I'm going to say on it. Um, I'll definitely tell you more eventually when I do my cleansing oil video, but I was just kind of like meh about this. Another Mad Hippie thing I have, I have another bottle of my vitamin C serum. This is one of my favorite Mad Hippie products. I go through this all the time. Probably every two to three months I get a new bottle. Um, and it's just my favorite vitamin C. It works really well. It's super gentle. Um, it's got hyaluronic acid, cognac root, and ferulic acid in it. They're all great things for your skin to help brighten and, you know, fight against free radicals, all that stuff. And the hyaluronic acid obviously is one of my favorite ingredients to hydrate your skin. So it's just my favorite vitamin C serum. I always go back to it. I've tried other ones and they just make me break out. It's too strong for my skin. And this one's really, really good. So I will probably continue to use this. There is another one I want to try from Coco Kind, but... Yeah, this is just my favorite. I have another one right now. I think I'm over halfway through already. So love it. So good. Speaking of hyaluronic acid, I have one of my COSRX Hyaluronic Acid Hydro Power Essences. This is one of my favorite serums. I use it morning and night and it's just so, so good. It really helps to hydrate the skin. It's a great texture. It's not too thick. It's not too liquidy. It just feels so good on the skin. 
I use this after my active ingredients. So whether it's my vitamin C or if I've used a gentle exfoliator or something like that, I'll put this on next before my cream, um, just to give me that extra boost of moisture before I put on the CeraVe, which has even more hyaluronic acid in it. And I just, I notice when I don't use this, my skin's just a little bit more dry, a little bit more irritated, and it just works really well. And it's a good price. It's a big bottle. It will last you a long time. And hyaluronic acid shouldn't be expensive. Um, there are great drugstore options for hyaluronic acid, and this is definitely one of them. I know the price seems high because it's like $22 or $23, but this bottle is so much bigger than other hyaluronic acid serums out there that it's actually a great price per ounce. So yeah, I love this one. So good. We'll continue to purchase. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why my voice is like going in and out. All right, so I have just an empty <laughs> bottle that might seem weird, but this is the empty bottle of my custom blend of oil. It was rose hip seed oil and some tea tree oil. I have stopped using tea tree oil. Again, my skin's just been kind of irritated and not happy. So I've kind of stepped away from that as well but i want to share with you that it was gone i am still using rose hip seed oil at night just a few drops at night just to kind of help lock everything in but i'm no longer using the tea tree oil as of right now i do love tea tree oil i thought it worked really well especially when you mix it in with a carrier oil you definitely do not want to put tea tree oil directly on your skin it needs to be mixed with something but yeah it's gone and i'm cool with that for now Something I'm just getting rid of, it's not empty, but I just don't use it and it's getting old and just needs to go, is the Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe, Cucumber, and Green Tea. This is just basically an overinflated toner, a hydrating toner, um, and I just don't use toners that much. And yeah, it was. it's one of those, it's a cult favorite, people love it, but it's basically just a hydrating toner and... I just don't use it. I have used it as like a setting spray every once in a while to refresh my makeup, but I just don't use it that often. It was just sitting in my skincare cabinet thing and I just don't use it. So I'm getting rid of it. I think the last big thing in here yep. is this Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Oil Infused Serum. So I've talked about this before. I got this free for reviewing purposes from Influencer, which I've also talked about before, but I liked this. However, it's so expensive for what it is. I don't remember the exact price. I'll look it up and I'll leave it on the screen right now how much it is. But basically it's just a hydrating serum with some oil in it. There's gotta be other serums out there like this. If you like the feeling of like an oily serum, there's gotta be dupes out there for this because this is so expensive to just hydrate your skin. It doesn't have any like crazy actives in it. I know it's got, um, like rose water and rose oil and um like cucumber and stuff in it and it feels great on the skin don't get me wrong it worked so well i really enjoyed it and it felt great on my skin but now that it's gone i haven't noticed like me missing it that i'm like oh yes i want to spend that much money to get it back and it was good i really liked it it's just so expensive for what it is and like my cosrx hydrating essence does practically the same thing, except it's not an oil. It's good and I would recommend it if you wanna spend that much money on a hydrating serum, but I would never do that. So there you go. It was good, but is it worth the money? I don't think so. All right, so I have a bunch of sheet masks. All right, we'll get the obvious over first. Last empties, I didn't have any of these. And uh, this one time I have two, they're my favorite. I talk about them almost every empties. This is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Hydrogel Face Masks. Again, I have two of them. These are my absolute favorite sheet masks. They're great hydrogel sheet masks and they just, they work so well. They're so hydrating. The serum in them is super liquidy. and just feels so good. My skin just drinks it all up and they're great. They're super inexpensive. Um, and they're like always on sale at Ulta or um, Target or something. So definitely wait to see if one's like buy one, get one 40% off, buy two, get one free, buy one, you know what I mean? Any sort of sale on these, grab a bunch and just stock up. They're so good and I really, really enjoy them. And that's the reason they're always in my empties. Um, I have two from Karuna. I think that's how you say this brand. I can never pronounce it correctly. So I got a little set of these from my mom. She got it in a FabFit fun box and she doesn't use sheet masks, so she sent them to me. Um, so I have their hydrating one and their exfoliating one. So these are just kind sheet masks. All of these are really nice. I really enjoyed both of these and all the ones that other ones I've used from them. They're nothing special. I don't know how much they are individually, so I don't know if they're like worth your money or anything like that, but they're good. They're a good sheet mask. 
again, I don't know how much they are a piece, so I don't know if I'd recommend them for the price, but they're just a good basic, basic sheet mask. I think if they were like four or five bucks, they'd be worth it. Much more than that. They're just basic sheet masks. They're good, but nothing to like go crazy over. So there you go. Another one that I love is the Aurora, is the Ozo Bear Aurora Illuminating Mask. So this is a fun one. We get the little pouch of serum up here and you break it and it goes into the sheet mask and then you put it on your face. Um, and it's super good. I love these Ozo Bear ones. They're a little bit more expensive. I want to say they're like $6 a piece, um, but they'll be on sale every once in a while at Sephora. And I'll grab this one and the hydrating one. Um, and I just think they're really good sheet masks. They work really well. <clears throat> um, I'm not sure about the illuminating factor in this one, but it feels really good on the skin. It makes my skin feel hydrated and I just really like it. The way they feel and that's the reason I keep buying them and I love that this serum kind of is like separate so feels like you're getting like more of a fresh skin mat a skincare product than like a sheet that's been sitting in the serum the whole time I don't know if that's true or not but um I yeah I just really like these um and they're really good another one of my favorites are these patchology flash masks this is the illuminating one and what I love about these ones, first of all, they feel great on the skin. The serum in them is super nice, and I really just enjoy the experience of them. But I also love that these can work in five minutes. So maybe if I want to have a short, quick little spa night, or I'm going to put this on before I do my makeup, it's great that it's only five minutes. You can leave them on for longer. Obviously, don't leave them on until they're dried out, because that can have the opposite effect for your skin. But it's nice that you kind of have that option to kind of go for as long as you want. I just really like them. Again, I don't know about the illuminating factor in this one, but just feels really good on the skin and leaves my skin feeling hydrated, and I really, really enjoy it. Let's go on to some hair care and body care. I don't have that much in this category, but we will go quickly. So the first thing I got rid of, I just actually finished using it up today. My hair is a frizzy mess. It's just so humid in Georgia. And one thing that really helps tame that humidity is this Moroccan oil. I get the light treatment oil and I love this stuff. It's it's fairly expensive, but it's so good. It's my favorite hair oil. It just feels really good on the skin. I also love the smell. I don't know. There's just a particular smell to this that like whenever I smell it, I'm like, mmm. Yes, Moroccan oil is so good. And it's just a really good oil. You don't need a lot. Even on my super long hair, I don't need a lot of it. Like a dime size is a great amount. <laughs> um, So it'll last you a while. And it's just a really good hair oil. It just helps to moisturize and fight frizz and all that fun stuff. And it's really nice and lightweight. I don't feel like it's like weighing my hair down or making it greasy. And I just really enjoy that oil. The other thing I used up for my hair is my Cantu for Natural Hair Cleansing Cream Shampoo. I love this shampoo. It's so good. It does lather up. So if that's something you're not looking for, you know, might not want this one, but it doesn't have sulfates, silicones, parabens, or mineral oil. Um, it is definitely a cleansing uh, conditioner or shampoo. It will definitely strip everything out of your hair. So if you're not looking for something to do that, this is not it. This is something I would use like once a week at max. Um, to like really get off all the buildup in my hair. But this is definitely not like a daily shampoo by any means. Your hair would be so stripped and so dry. Um, so I would not recommend it for that. This is definitely like your deep, like especially if you have curly hair and you're only washing it like once or twice a week. This would be like your once every other week, your once a week, like deep cleansing to get all the like mousse and other products you put in to get it all curly. That's what this is. And it's so good. I really, really enjoy it. Yeah, it's just an awesome shampoo and the price point is great these are so inexpensive um and i just really really enjoy it so body stuff first of all let's get this out of the way i have four of these granted we live in georgia it's super hot super sunny so uh you know sunscreen is a must so i have four bottles of the neutrogena ultra sheer body mist spf 30 so i have four of them <laughs> I go through these so quickly. I love to be outside. I love to sit in our little baby pool. I love to go on walks, all sorts of stuff. So we've just been using up sunscreen like crazy. And this is just my favorite right now. It works really well. It's easy to apply. Um, it's easy to reapply. And it's just, it works really well. I haven't burned a single time this summer. And it's just really, really nice. And it feels great on the skin and I enjoy it. That's the reason I went through so many of them. Two last things for body. The first one is not fully empty, but I want to throw it in there because um, it's like so close to being empty. It's insane. So I just wanted to throw it in there before for this video. So this is the Bliss Lemon and Sage Body Butter. 
So I have liked this stuff. The smell is amazing, first of all. The scent's awesome. I really, it's a really nice, clean, fresh scent that kind of reminds me of like a spa or something. So if you're looking for just something that smells really good, I would definitely recommend this. Don't get me wrong, it definitely works really well too. And it, may, it definitely makes my skin feel hydrated, but not for long enough. Like I feel like I have to reapply this more often than my other moisturizers. Like I feel like with my uh, Nivea one that I can just apply it in the morning or at night and my skin will feel hydrated for the whole day. Whereas this one, like I feel like if I put it on in the morning, I have to reapply it at night to get enough hydration. Um, but it is good and I do like it. It's expensive for what it is. Again, I think if you really enjoy the scent, it's a good one. I just not my favorite moisturizer ever. All right, and the last thing it might be a little bit TMI, but I used up a whole Bikini Zone medicated cream. Um, I love this stuff. I shave my bikini area, just how I roll. And this helps to kind of mitigate any irritation, um, ingrown hairs, anything like that. And I definitely notice a difference when I don't use this. It's just really good. I think it works really well and I really enjoy this. So if you shave or wax or do anything, this is definitely a great thing to have on hand. I just think it works really well. I actually put it sometimes on the back of my thighs too. I tend to get ingrown hairs on the back of my upper thighs. I don't know why, just where I get some ingrown hairs. So sometimes every once in a while, I'll put this there too, to kind of help with that. I just think it works really well and I really enjoy it. We are on to our last category, which is random stuff. I have some, some more like beauty random stuff, but I also have some like home cleaning stuff as well. We're almost there though. I'm trying to get through this as quickly as possible. I have a couple hand soaps to start. So the first one is this Miss Myers um, hand soap. This was the lemon verbena one. And I like the scent of this and my hands did get clean. I just didn't like that it like, it didn't lather up super well. I don't know why, but that just really bothers me. And I like the scent, it smelled really good. I think I got this as like a free gift from um, Grove Collaborative one time and it worked really well. Like I said, it worked to get my hands clean. It didn't make my hands feel stripped either, which was really nice, but I just wanted to foam up a little bit more, but the smell is really good and it worked really well. So definitely a good one. Um, one that I loved the scent of, this is the Bath & Body Works uh, foaming one. This is a sal salted bergamot scent and this just smells so good. We had this in our uh, bathroom, in our bedroom. It just smells really good. It's a little bit sweet, but not overly sweet that my husband was like, I hate this. <laughs> it just smells really good. Uh, it says Escape to Paradise with a blend of salty air, bergamot, and orange leaf. And it just smells really good. It's a nice, fresh scent and it works i love the we love the foaming ones my husband works contacts so any like the jelly ones that have like those little micro glitters don't work in our bathroom upstairs so this is we love the foam ones and this one was the nice one i have a couple random like body things the first one is this jr watkins shea butter hand cream and this was the lavender scent so i had this on my nightstand next to my bed and it smelled so good and um I just really liked this hand cream. It wasn't too thick and goopy. My hands always felt hydrated afterwards. And I loved the lavender for bedtime because it just helps calm you down. Sorry, for some reason the video cut out, but like I was saying, this is just a really great basic hand cream. It has shea butter in it and cocoa butter and avocado oil. It is strongly fragranced, but it says it's 100% natural fragrance. It just feels really, really nice on the hands. Um, it's paraben free, phthalate free, free propyl and glycol free and dye free and it's just a good basic hand cream i have the grapefruit one right now and i really enjoyed that one too it's just really nice and it's a good basic hand cream i don't think it's anything like life-changing revolutionary but it's just a really good basic hand cream i have a couple of my glue on nails that i love from kiss so i have these really pretty red long pointy ones and i also have the acrylic like French manicure ones. I've talked about these before. I just love these ones. I use the glue in here, not the like sticky applicator thing, but I just really like them. They last a long time if you apply them correctly and they're just really nice and they look good on my nails. So I love those. I have is um, my favorite shave cream. This is the Cremo shave cream um, and this is the sandalwood scent, which I love the sandalwood scent. 
I think technically this is like a men's scent. It's in like the male shaving area. But what I love about this is that they just work super well. I always have these in my empties as well. Um, you don't need a lot. They last a long time. And I also love that the men's quote unquote scents are the same price as women's scents. So you don't have to worry about like which scent you buy because they're all the same price, which is nice. It's not always true with other shaving creams. Um, but just works really, really well. It gives you a great slip. It leaves your skin feeling hydrated. It doesn't leave any like sticky, tacky weirdness. And it just works super well. So I love this guy. I have one more kind of like body bath thing and that's the Dr. Teal's Ultra Moisturizing Bath Bombs. Um, you get five in this little bag and they're like this big. They're not very big, but they work so, so well. They smell amazing. They are super hydrating and they just work really well. And if you want like the perfect bubble bath, I definitely recommend getting like all of their products and using them all at once. They're not super expensive, but if you get a little bit of the Epsom salt and some of the bubble bath and one of these and some of the oil, I'm telling you, it's like the best bath ever. Like I said, none of their things are very expensive. And I just really enjoyed these bath bombs. The only thing I didn't like is that they're all individually wrapped inside of here. So you have to like cut off the plastic around the actual bath bombs. So it's just like a lot of extra waste that I don't know is necessary. I guess it helps keep them together when they're like shipping and stuff. It's just like a little bit annoying, but they work really well and I really, really enjoy them. And I love that they kind of made bath bombs like a little bit more accessible they're definitely not super expensive like other bath bombs but you can also just find these like at target or in the drugstore you don't have to like go to lush or order them online or anything and i just really like that and yeah i just think they're really nice and i really really enjoyed having these so i have a couple mouth care things the first thing is i have two of my sensodyne pro enamel gentle whitening toothpaste i've talked about these almost every empties as well these are my favorite toothpaste um, that's my husband's favorite toothpaste. It keeps my teeth looking fairly white and, but they don't make my teeth like sensitive or anything. They actually have the opposite effect, which is nice. I do have fairly sensitive teeth. So it's nice to be able to combat that. And I just think they work really well and we love them. We get the two packs and they're just great. We really, really enjoy it. Um, and then I have a bottle of the Listerine Coolmint mouthwash. Um, this is the kind with alcohol. My husband hates the ones with alcohol in them and I love the ones with alcohol. The ones without alcohol leave like a weird film in my mouth that I just do not enjoy and I don't like them. So he always gets that one. I just get the original Listerine. I just think it works really well. You know, it's classic. It does what it needs to do. And I just really like this. So I just had the little bottle. I'm working through one of like the big bottles now, but I just love Listerine and this one's always a favorite. All right, I think I only have two cleaning products left and then we are done. So I have two of these Grove Collaborative um, concentrates. One's a glass cleaner and one's a floor cleaner. And I just love these things. They're super easy. So you just get one of these little bottles, you twist off the top and you just squirt them into like a glass reusable cleaning bottle and then fill it up the rest of the way with water and you have a cleaning product. And I just think they're so, so great. They work super well. The glass one, I wasn't too sure about when I first got it. I was worried it wouldn't work as well as like a traditional glass cleaner, but it works super well and I really have been enjoying it. So I use this on my windows and on my mirrors and it works really well. The floor cleaner is nice. They both smell amazing. They're actually the same scent. They're both rosemary, orange rosemary. And I think they, they smell really nice and clean with a little bit of earthiness to them. And I just think they're really, really nice. The only thing is this one's a newer bottle and it says the plastic tube isn't recyclable. This one is. So I don't know what's up with that. Hopefully they'll go back to being recyclable. But I love, I do love Grove Collaborative because they are um, a zero plastic a net zero plastic company, I believe. So basically what that means is for every ounce of plastic they ship out, they donate money to help or they they work with a company to recycle that amount of plastic or to clean it up out of the ocean or something like that. I don't know exactly what. But go to their website and look at it. It's very interesting. And I just love Grove Collaborative. They use recycled products a lot and they're just it's just a great company and they sell great cleaning products. Um, so that's where I tend to get my cleaning products from. And it's nice that I can just like order them all from one place and they can all come to my door. It just makes it super simple. But I do love their full, their concentrates. So that's that. And that is everything. That's all my empties. I know this is a long one. But tell me what you guys always use up. Like what is always in your empties? Like you use it constantly. You always go back to it. I want to know. So leave me a comment down below. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to join our little adventure family here. And yeah, I think that's it for this video. So I will see you guys in my next adventure. Bye. Bye.